Rest in peace, Hunter Hale. Mio, uh, this is, um, what? This is Dr. Calvino. Machine shop supply ah, closet? Well, I suppose you've turned in, uh, or you're ignoring me. Uh, I just want to... Well, okay, this, this is the uh, wrong I, I, uh, note thing. For my shift tomorrow, but, um, uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you... This is the one. Steve, this is Captain Hale, Shuttle Exalt. I'm trying to hail the bridge, getting zip. Can you confirm, please? I have some system malfunctions. It's uh, it's across the board. It's hard to make sense. I need to park ASAP. I recommend security detail when I come in. Hearing some noise in the cabin. Mm. Shit, what is going on? I don't know why I can't reach anyone, but I am dead in the water. Repeat, I have zero engines. I'm drifting. God damn it, Steve, answer your transcribe. <sighs> Alright. Shit. Rest in peace, volunteer. Investigating cabin. And other volunteer. Sidearm. If all clear, I will attempt to EVA to an airlock. Ryu, uh, this is, that, um, why does that one keep coming up? Calvino. Well, I'll ignore it. Uh, well, I suppose you've turned it. Here's where the shuttle pilot Hale was. I just want to... Well, I, I will be a little late for my shift tomorrow, but... Um, You're a mod. Uh, and want Typhon to Lua Fabrication Plan. You see, the, the old one is so if I do find that those are useful, I'll have a supply of them. What you need from the so it the seems like Hale was ass, ferrying a new load of volunteers um, up to tell us one. The Starbender Cycle, Book 5. Crown of Tumbleweed. <laughs> Rest in peace, another couple of the one to use. Oh, two bottles. Okay. There were six corpses on the ship. One of them was the pilot. Uh, four of them were these volunteers. So that leaves who exactly? Is this a door something I can enter? Force open. If only I had leverage three. Hmm. Okay. I'll just note that the derelict shuttle has, as well as um, a terrifying space monster flying around outside it, a door I wasn't able to open yet. Uh, I don't suppose the control panel. You know, if I had repair three, perhaps that would let me open it as well. Right. Is that what's going on here? Do I have the neuromods to afford either of those things? I have five neuromods, but I have leverage two. I'm actually one neuromod short only on the repair side of things. More than one. Not worth focusing on for now. All right, the other question on my mind is, can I get out of here alive? You save bastards. Also, this scroll bar doesn't work. It displays your position, but you can't click on it or use the scroll wheel or anything. And if you delete a save at the bottom of the list, you can't keep deleting them. That is going to be a huge pain to manage. Alright. Let's get out of here. And away. To basically run for the station. Ooh, what's this thing floating down here? I'm hoping the space monster Typhon doesn't just kind of chase me all the way. Doesn't seem to be doing so. This looks interesting.
Hello. It's glowing slightly blue. It's orbiting the station, so I have to kind of try and keep up with it here. Oh. That did not do anything. Perhaps I'll leave this object alone after all. Right. Talos 1. Let's head up to the top of the station next. Above the Arboretum. I won't be able to get in the airlock there, or any of these airlocks, but I may see some more interesting things. This is not going to be my only EVA, so I'm not trying too hard to find every single thing on one run. Panels blown off the sides. Hull breach into crew quarters. Hello. That seems incredibly relevant. Because that's not an airlock. Uh, to explain my reasoning there, airlocks are locked. A breach by its. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't believe I ran into a wall in space. Ah, more Typhon fire stuff. They're like mines or something. Not too hard to avoid those ones, though. I think the big space monster that I thought earlier was making those to throw at me. Alright. Oh. Okay, so there's radiation. There are space explosions. And there's another one of these things. No, I'm not a Typhon contaminant. God damn you. But, uh, subject demonstrates unwillingness to face the truth. I'm about to load the game, I think. I'm not kind of committing to any of this stuff that's happening right now being real. Oh boy. A lot of very unpleasant and angry things around here. And a banana. What? Huh? A telepathy optimizer. Okay, let's go back here. What if I could get the telepathy optimizer? Not that I'm a telepath, but you know, I still want to optimize telepathy in general. What if I could get that without all these other problems? The glue gun, unfortunately, just not just not does not seem useful in space. Which makes some sense. What does this thing do? Not much. Hello. That thing exploded itself, I think. Well, not good, but acceptable, I guess. Oh, hello. I've opened the door inadvertently. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's hack. Oh, this is high stakes. I like it. Zuh. God damn, this game is good. Fuh. Hell yes. I'm saving the game. This time it's going well. So I've actually got this thing on my side now. That should make this whole area a lot more survivable. This was somebody's cabin in the crew quarters. And, uh, now, unfortunately, it's exposed to the vacuum of space. 
Hey, too far, too fast. President Reagan, what, Johnson's term came to an... Term came into it? What a... Huh? Oh, in this timeline, it was an assassination attempt on JFK. How interesting. Many of whom had also successfully prevented US involvement in Vietnam. I guess this is the good timeline? I'm in space! I'm in space! The thing addressed me by name. I wonder if I could get it to somehow come out here and help me fight the Typhon. That doesn't seem like it. Oh, hello. Metempsychotic Remainder Organism. Those are the phantoms, Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Remainder Organism. Hmm. Hmm. Will reason really provide you to the right consciousness? So, uh, as an aphorism, they have really been putting the test here on Telos One. Low levels of radiation around the Hellbreach are disconcerting, but I don't think it's going to, unless it. The, Ah, right. Those things simply explode, and uh, that's fine, because then they stop irradiating me. Right, so here I have the telepathic optimizer. I can't install it because I don't have, like... It's a chipset, right? Like the, troop scoot, so, uh, the suit chipsets. But I can't put chips in my head. I may have neuromods, but those are a different thing, right? Hmm. There's more going on here that means then meets the eye. Anyway, time to fly around some more in space with my highly inadequate gun. I'm dealing with most problems by allowing them to exclude me. I don't know if I'll safely be able to proceed any further than this into the executive suites. Whose names were on these doors, if anyone? Board member. Board member, okay. I was going to say which board member. Yep, that's a bad guy. Will and Kathy, you? I need to get in there. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have to load the game again here. I think I should test out whether glue does anything to those things, even though I'm pretty sure... Wait, where did it go? Where did it go? What? Ah. Oh! It's, it's sticking, it's sticking. Wow, okay, so, yeah, load the game. Glue cannon. Might be the answer I need here. Ah, this rules. Well, I covered it in so much glue that it fell through the wall. Could this be good enough? Let's, uh, let's not assume the best yet. I'll follow it into these unmarked, through this unmarked door. glued up and now oh that knocked the glue off it it's 
smack it in the eye. Oh, this is no good. What I'm doing is not something you typically survive. And this time, I got a corpse. Typhon Ganglia. Okay. <laughs> That was an intense and arguably unwarranted situation. But I'm alive. I can also pick up this veggie blend, my delicious reward. What was this thing? I could uh, put this briefcase. It's a Q-beam cell fabrication plan. Okay. If I ever find a use for Q-beam cells, that'll be quite relevant. And... Is there anything else around here? Maybe. There's a coffee cup. That's something all by itself. I could potentially repair this question mark. What is it? Turret. Okay, right, well... I can't, in fact, I don't know. If I could actually spend Neuromods for enough repair to repair that, but it's a little too late to be useful. Although, I'm kind of tempted. Like, having a turret in this space region. Okay, let, let's try this out. Save the game. Let's now commit to going up to repair two. Four Neuromods spent. Expensive. However,. I can repair the turret. I can now carry the turret. What if I took the turret to the shuttle? This is an idea so powerful it ought to be illegal. I'm actually... I'm actually using my mind like a weapon here. Anything else to grab? So, I, I do have something else to do first, but... Yeah, saving the game so I don't lose this thing. Because this could be truly incredible. So, Will and Kathy Yu, who are they? But yeah, I'm, I'm coming back for that turret. I've got, and it and I have big plans. Unfortunately, this computer is broken. Oh, it's a fa one of those family photos. Was Will you? Was that Wilson you? Could that be Morgan's father? And Kathy's his mother? I hope they weren't staying here on the station at the time that um, the things happened. Well, all well, this is uh, kind of cool, but not actually super interesting. I was hoping for a little more from the Will and Kathy U situation. It's an ashtray. Okay, right, well, let's get back out of here. Okay, now for my daring plan. Um, a plan so bold that it honestly ought to be considered a weapon of mass destruction. My mind at this point is subject to export controls. There's the derelict shuttle, I think. Well, it's, it's a derelict shuttle. 
scroll all the way down. Press Del. Delete. Now I'm allowed to save the game. Right, I hope you can deploy this thing in vacuum. <laughs> if this has the effects, I hope it will. I'm going to be so pleased. I won't keep it to myself. The effects I'm hoping it will have is it will shoot a fuck ton of bullets. So let's, let's kind of stop here-ish. Yeah, that's a good place. And deploy. Deploying. Okay, we're still a little too far away. I could fly over there and kind of decoy the thing back, but it. Ah, no, 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 no. I, I don't. I don't need to do this. There's no. There's no need to hack this turret. There's a. All I'm going to get from this is I'm going to zap myself. I'm picking my hands off the keyboard and mouse. There you go. System overload. I've been zapped. Yeah, I just load the game there. Okay. <laughs> what I intended to do was pick this up with the F button as opposed to the hold down F button. Now, let's sail a little closer. Ever so careful, ever so coy. Pay no attention to the turret behind the curtain. Yes. Yes. Holy shit! <laughs> It, that thing just got blasted into oblivion. Yeah, like instantly and so permanently eradicated that it didn't even, didn't even leave a corpse behind, which is somewhat disappointing. Oh, there's a bit. I can pick up this bit. No, actually, it's, it's actually remaining. There you go. I see. Just, well, I guess it is a vacuum. Maybe. Oh, hang on, hang on. It's still here. Okay, what? Was it in fact hit so hard that it flew out of sight rather than being hit so hard it instantly exploded? Is that what's going on? Or had it deployed some of those floating mine things and my turret like blew those up? That would comport with the available evidence. Notice what I've done here? I've given the turret momentum. Okay, so it's shooting down the mines. Indeed, that's what happened before. The the wraith thing itself had not yet been destroyed. But we're on the way, the turret and I. There it is again. It outlines itself in flame and fury, unleashes these, I'm going to call them mines, and they get shot down. However, my turret's orientation is a little, little suboptimal here. Once again, we need attitude adjustments. Oh no! Okay, now the turret is uh, tumbling. Okay, that's kind of funny. Not convenient, but it is funny. This is actually hilarious, this whole situation. We're now under the shuttle. Right. Did I deploy that backwards somehow? Ow. Get it, Sars. It didn't quite explode into smithereens, or rather it did, but here is a smithereen. Yes. 15 Typhon organs and one plasma. 
That'll make multiple neuro mods. Also, this area is fairly safe now, although some of the mines are being left behind, but I also kind of lost track of my turret. Uh, yeah, I'd rather not run into those. Okay, I could have sworn I put it here-ish. Did it go flying off somewhere? Oh! No, uh, that's the door. There he is! There it is! My friend! My hero! You're still with us. Okay. Hang on. I also gained repair 2 at some point in this process. Ah, but you need repair 3, I think. Or leverage 3 to make progress inside there. That is probably enough space bullshit for now. Let's uh, let's actually go inside where it's warm. But I feel that we've accomplished a number of highly significant objectives today. Uh, I've, uh, I've moved a turret around such that it defeated an extremely difficult enemy for me. Always wanted to do that. I've um, I've picked up a telepathy optimizer so that should I ever develop telepathy in the future, uh, it will be an optimized form thereof. I found multiple human corpses, one of them still hidden away, discovered where what may be Morgan's parents stay when they're on the station, which is they hopefully aren't. But I wouldn't really recommend anyone come to this space you know, at this point in time. Learned you cannot go to the moon. Didn't really make a serious effort to enter the Arboretum. That'll come later. Back in the hardware labs for now. There's an oxygen refill station up there. Now that's interesting, because I didn't realise I was capable of running out of oxygen. This is this is worrying me a little. <laughs> Am I actually on the verge of death and I hadn't been realizing it? Okay, let's just drop the hero turret here. Look that thing. Near the airlock. Yes. Hope it doesn't smash itself to pieces there. Clunk. Okay. Yep, that's physics. And yeah, I'll I'll head for the um oxygen refill station question mark. Just in case I didn't have oxygen. Uh, the dot has vanished from my radar. Chaos and confusion reign. There's another one, but there were two. There's one oxygen oxygen refill station was quite close by. Oh, there we go. Oxygen refill station. Yes, okay, it's quite clearly this panel thing. I don't fully understand. Huh. Well, uh, like I said, I don't actually need any more oxygen. I've, I've got oxygen. Also, these things seem enormous. Like, surely this is an oxygen refill station for Talos 1 itself. It's refilling the station's oxygen. Yes? Seems like a, a useful, important task, actually. But, uh... Why I need to have that marked as a, an indicator on my suit's heads-up display, I don't actually know. This is slightly worrying to know that this might be relevant in future. Still, uh, indeed, that looks like an oxygen refill station. 
I will put it from my mind for now. Now, I don't think you can take held objects. No, you can't. I had to drop the turret. In fact, it's vanished into... No, okay, there it is, yeah. I was not able to activate the Hardware Labs icon without dropping the turret. That's fine. Time to go back to a place for human beings.